So, Tom. Yes. This is Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lovely, Lovely Lion, although mm-hmm. it's called Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion on the yeah. box. They tend to redact the full name. Mm-hmm. You had quite a lot of fun because you've got a copy of this physically with you as well, haven't you? I have. Which it's... makes us really the most treated people in the universe. It's, it's ridiculous. I know. Um, I do feel good about it. They very you. kindly provided us. Well, yeah, it's one of those things where for a long time Tom has been like, I really want to play Gloomhaven. And I was like, well, look, don't worry about Gloomhaven. Jaws of the Lion is going to be the right size of thing to give a go when yeah. you get to it. And I was intending to play it with you, but obviously pandemics, etc. So, so instead, um, we're going to play it with each other over the internet, but with the actual physical yeah, game in is, front of us. Yeah, this is weirdly doable because of the fact that the <laughs> scenarios actually take place in a book, which we'll get to in a second. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm just going to briefly share a couple of thoughts with you guys about some of this stuff because I think it's kind of neat. The main things that jump out at me, because I literally only opened this box about half an hour, an hour ago, because I kind of wanted to get some fresh feelings. This is nice, simple little thing. Holds all the tokens right off the bat. Less stuff to worry about egg cups. However, I couldn't work out a way to actually fit in all of the tokens, so I've left most of them (laughs) in the punch board still. So that's kind of weird. Um, The main other difference, to be honest, everything seems really, really, really similar. But one thing I feel um, is that I think that the card stock is different and a lot nicer in terms of, maybe not in terms of feel. It's got a slightly plasticky feel to it, but these cards feel a lot more ready to be handled over long periods of time. There was this, The original game kind of had a, a slightly thin, papery feel to everything, whereas this feels much more substantial, which means it kind of gives the feel of... Uh, Gloomhaven was weirdly ramshackle and rough around the edges, whereas this feels right off the bat like a much more kind of premium, nice thing. Um, obviously, it is a smaller box, but it's not tiny. It's still it's still basically... It's basically a standard board game size box, maybe slightly smaller, but it's jam-packed with stuff, which is good, because a lot of board games these days are just taking the mick with how much air they've got in them. And honestly, it just seems to be a version of Gloomhaven, which is actually the correct size. You know, it's like the Gloomhaven, when I reviewed it, I adored it, but there just didn't need to be as much of it as there was. And it was great that there was, because it left this sort of sense of mystery of the unknown that could go on forever and ever and ever and ever. But with this, from what I can see so far, it's just kind of about right. I've been playing a bit of this with my housemates. We've been playing the intro few scenarios. The game has a five scenario kind of like tutorial to some extent uh, mm-hmm. where it's going to it drip feeds the mechanics in. So rather than uh, you watch us stumble around in the very first scenario where we're fighting like two goblins, <laughs> uh, I've skipped us to scenario four, a ritual in stone, mm. um, which nice looks. I mean, I don't know much about Gloomhaven, but it looks slightly more challenging than the ones earlier on uh so Mm -hmm. let's give it a go also i'm just going to be a little bit now of a child um (laughs) and the fact that usually i'd be like hey what characters i play but i've really ever since seeing this guy when we actually amazingly announced this game um isaac children's announced this game at shucks which last year which blew my mind you know i was just wanted to have a chat with my glue home and he came and announced this thing and i was like what so cool (laughs) um but this hunter character who has an axe, I adore because he's just super, super bloodborne. So I'll give it all. <laughs> so I'm going to be playing as the hunter with an axe. The hatchet. Um, what are you going to be? The hatchet, yes. He's legally, he legally not bloodborne. That's the name. Legally not bloodborne. Uh, I, dis- I was going to play the Void Warden because uh, I hadn't played the Void Warden in the campaign that we were playing when I'm playing with my mates uh the one that's the one that hasn't been picked but maybe something that's to the strength of jaws of the lion is that i'm actually more excited about seeing the full deck of cards that the demolitionist has which is my character that i'm playing in mm-hmm. uh my campaign at home so i'm i'm the demolitionist so we're quite mm-hmm. damagey we're going to do a lot of damage but i don't know if we'll have a lot of uh longevity <laughs> which is so we're going to see going to see. I'm going to get you out. I'm going to pop you out of the box. Yeah, pop out, Mr. Demolitionist. I can't get it out of the box. Stream over. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Stream can go home. <laughs> there we are. You're quite short compared to me. <laughs> yeah, you are quite yeah, tall. Actually, 
in an actually kind of incredibly <laughs> cute way. It's a good match for us in real life, really. <laughs> I am not that tall. And I'm not. And that you're not short. that short. No. It's fine. I think the problem is people think that people will probably think that you're a hobbit because until people meet us, everyone is uh, quite surprised. I say us. People are really surprised by how tall me and Quinn's are because we're both about the same height, so we kind of cancel each other out. <laughs> um so yeah, you'll probably meet people and everyone will be like, oh my god, you're so much taller than I thought you'd be. Um <laughs> and you'll have to look at them quizzically until they leave. At the start of the uh the campaign, you have these uh A and B cards. Uh, so you know at the top where you've got the little like one in a crown symbol. You can just take out all your level mm-hmm. one cards and not bother with the A and B ones because they're the ones for the first few scenarios when you're learning the game. And you'll notice that they've oh, got really? those, yeah, and they've got those little blue boxes on them, which literally tell you exactly what the card does, so that you can't. Wow. Like, um, and then you then phase them out. That's once you fascinating. Then, so it, yeah, it's basically got they've kind of really taken a. Um, taking a leaf out of the book of mechs versus minions so actually like hard baking in a yeah an actual tutorial mm-hmm. yeah halt do not halt who goes there all right yeah don't open the halt who goes there no. one you animal i'm not gonna halt <laughs> do not open this pack of cards all right i won't <laughs> halt who goes there so i'm getting a bit excited now i did think about like um having this all again like having this all set up and having us all just ready to jump in but i kind of felt like this i don't really oh, yeah. want to be doing uh like unboxing <laughs> stuff but at the same time there is a kind of joy to like taking a game like this out it's, it's where the money exciting. is it's i'm really money. i'm really kind of sad that like i haven't i can't play this with anyone for a while i could try and get my wife into it but i think it, mm, that might be a fool's errand it might just make me sad Bit of a hard but, um, you can play the single player though so maybe i will yeah um, we'll see I'll see. Yeah, the card stock on these is just so much nicer. Like, it's not a real deal breaker. I mean, because it's like, it's kind of greasier. But for someone who eats cake whilst he's playing board games, I think that's fine. I deserve all the grease I get. <laughs> so you can see here, these are just examples exactly of what Tom was talking about here. This is an unboxing literally stream. literally explain how it works. I think that's neat. I didn't know that was in here. They've also made the, um, the character cards, like, Half the size, because why not? Oh yeah, we can do um, <sighs> pieces ASMR for a bit. That's that's some uh, some of the little standees. Um, what else? I really like that. Can I just sit back while you do that for yeah, a while? Yeah, sure. Oh shoot! <laughs> <laughs> I dropped a load of them. <laughs> That's really uh, that was really pleasant noises. Thank right. you, Tom. We've gone from unboxing to ASMR. It's literally like we're going through all the tropes of like you know monetizable content. We're gonna do ASMR, yeah. Unboxing. We're streaming. Heated gamer moments. <laughs> Heated gamer <laughs> moments. Uh, no, we've got a square space sponsorship not, no. towards the end as well. Hey guys, have you heard about Wix? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's I don't know what it is. To be honest, something to do with websites, right? Um. I'm going to get the book now. I'm going to get the book of dreams. Book. Yeah. Actually start so you'll need doing... both. You'll need the the regular and the supplemental uh, for this. I know. I, I I like that. It's very much like how can we make this work? And it's like we'll <laughs> just make another book. So this is the cool thing about um what they've done with Jaws for the Lion and uh, Oh for the Wings of a Jaws of a Dove. And this is why I thought we could play this over stream a la internet is because. The scenario thing is now a book, and basically you just have the maps of the levels, and then if you if it spills over, you then have the supplementary <laughs> book, which allows you to extend your dungeon, uh, which I think is absolutely adorable. It's wonderful. Um, but it means, yeah, you've got the special rules and the information just all on the table at the same time, um, and it means that Tom can set his up over there, like this is so much better than having to get all of the little cardboard bits out. To the extent, I kind of hope they do it with Frosthaven. I doubt they. I don't know if they will. They probably won't. I don't think they are. Are they? I think that would might be better. This is almost identical to what they did with Mex versus Minions. Which, to be fair, Mex versus Minions as an onboarding system for a, a game that could get a little bit fiddly later on mm. um, was pretty much best in field like this is how you do it if you can 
Um, and so really it does seem that that's what they've done here of being like, it's going to set teach you how to actually set up a map instead of a game. And then for the first five missions, it's just going to introduce mechanics as you go. So introducing like how, well, obviously there's actually quite a lot of stuff to get through before you can play <laughs> the first scenario. But then it's like, right, now we're going to teach you about money, treasures, traps, doors. Yeah. Cool. And then we're going to teach you about other stuff and then you're going to get learn about the city and buying items so it just means rather than having to do that thing that you had to do with the original gloomhaven of literally <laughs> i mean before i started playing gloomhaven for the first time we literally had to say hey listen you just need to watch these two videos that in total will go on for about an hour and 20 minutes and then you'll know how to play <laughs> um because it's like right now that's all of that now on to the city stuff and it's like yeah people probably don't need to know that until they've played a few missions yeah sure so it looks like he doesn't even start teaching you about um leveling up until you finish the fifth scenario yes. which is interesting um <laughs> so yeah i think we're going to go for mission number four and i think what we're going to do is i'm going to set things up and keep track of things but tom will be the um the game master uh the game lord the master of the games what does that mean <laughs> what, what doesn't it mean i think it means whatever you want it to mean frankly uh, but i mean cool. it means you're gonna tell me when i'm doing something wrong <laughs> but also you can extend this remit for the duration of this game to mean literally whatever you want okay good that is you can just invoke it like yeah a sacred right mm -hmm. game master privileges that sounds exactly good <laughs> um cool I'm excited for this. Right, let me. Yeah, and also I've seen someone pointing out in the chat that like, yeah, there are like, there's blood tumor stuff and this blood being enemies. It's like, this is totally like, this is totally like, who's been playing Bloodborne? And <laughs> I'm there for it um, because Bloodborne might be the best um, that's game. It. That's the end of that sentence. Yeah, it's just it might be the best. It looks like there's some kind of like infectiony, you know, like kind of yeah. There's there's definitely some kind of some rot going on, uh, which I'm I'm excited for. So you see those little um, just below each enemy, and again, I don't know if this is actually something that uh, original Gloomhaven did, but those little banners are like what kind of enemies you use on what kind of difficulties. Um, again, I've oh, no smart. idea if this is in standard Gloomhaven. They did a, they had a different iconography for that in yeah. original Gloomhaven, which was a lot less clear. You can yeah. see now, you might be able to see anyway, these tiny little barriers, which means, I guess that means two, three, four players, yep. right? Hang on, yeah. And then that makes so yeah. much more sense than what they had before. Of like, they had like a little triangle with them around the edge of the things, and it was like, yeah, not what you want. <laughs> in fact, to be honest, the, the graphic design in this is Chef Kiss. I'm looking for some dodgy drop shadows. Um, some of the font work here could have had a little bit more of a glow on it or something I don't know um, but generally speaking I'm going to give them pretty good marks for that you start with 25 gold and then you get some extra stuff for the first yeah you should rewards from scenario 1 to 3 um, alright what do you reckon I should give myself then just to give myself a, a, a decent start grab a couple bits and bobs isn't it um, basically the, <laughs> the first 13 items I think in the shop are yeah. Uh, the ones you can buy. I've just got a healing potion, but I might buy something else. It's exciting going shopping. It's just like being in the real world, going to the shops like we used to. All right, um, I'm just going to give myself some eagle eye, eagle eye goggles. That'll do. They're worth cool. 30. Uh, and you also Happy. start with uh, a, one perk as well. Uh, on your little character sheet. Oh, right. Well, I'll have to, to have a look at that. I'm going to replace one plus one card with a plus three one. Plus three. I have removed four plus zeros from my deck. Actually, that's a very bad idea, I think. Wait. Well, well yeah. Because it makes it, yeah, yeah, I can, yeah. <laughs> they're actually quite yeah, good. No, I mean, I, <laughs> yeah, there's nothing wrong with just doing exactly what you expect to do. Um, uh, but yeah, again, neat thing about Gloomhaven is deciding what kind of what kind of game you want to play. Um, how averse are you to okay. luck? I'm going to remove or having a bad time. At a plus one. Oh wait, you arrive at the building marked on the map, an old abattoir, and find an unexpected scene. The entire building has burned down. There's now nothing more than a scorched husk. This is certainly a new development. 
as you clearly remember the structure standing before you, left on your hunt, before you left on your hunt up the still river. And the fact that the location has been implicated in your search, well, the whole thing is rather suspicious, even if you can't put your finger on exactly why. A little bit of searching through the charred rubble isn't going to stop you from getting to the bottom of this, though. Eventually, you uncover a set of stairs leading to a stone cellar. Given it's the only piece of the structure intact, you make your way down. Basically, what's gone on, we've gone into, in this scenario, Matley's, there you are in your chair, uh, we've gone into a cellar, and there's some blimmin' cultists around. Uh, and and there's some traps, and there's stones. We've got to go and break the stones, and then we win. Break the stones, get the money, <laughs> get, get out, in the yeah. car, and get back to Italy before anyone notices. Pretty, mu- pretty much. So the objectives of the summoning stones, they've got three hit points by the looks. C plus one. So number of characters plus one. So that's three, right? Yep. There's two of us. That's three. Yep. That's counting. Yep. Two plus one is in fact three. Um, and they can only be targeted by melee attacks. When two summoning stones have been destroyed, we read paragraph one. So more is going to happen. After, There's a powerful after smell of death. Oh. There is. It's, it's, a it's, There's a powerful smell of death. I don't like it's it, like Tom. I don't house, like it yeah. one bit. But we've got to do it. <laughs> so we've got we some special rules here. Spawn... <laughs> or we could just retire our characters. Like, you know what? You know? Honestly, bit of faff here. Both of us are good at like getting in there, right? So let's let's both stand right at the front. I'll go left okay. front if you go middle front. There we go. That's perfect. Oh, there's so many things that you can do in this game. <laughs> the first turn is always the hardest because yeah. uh because you've got like just an an incredible quantity of things you can do so i'm gonna i'm gonna go towards the uh i mean it feels like it's a good idea to zoom towards the um the thing on the left the first totem 17 is my number 66 for mine Seven. 66 okay what we got going on with enemies so it's definitely you first then it's definitely me after and then the zealots it's 82. Very blessed. Stone Golems. 28. So that's between us. So it's you, then the Golems, then me, then the Zealots. Which is good because I am going to go for that Zealot that's right next to us. Let me tell you what they're doing as well. The Zealot is uh, attacking with plus one at range three. And it's got that little the little red... Does this mean it invokes fire? Yes. That little symbol. Cool. Uh, so that's going to that's gonna do that. And then the uh, stone golems are going to move plus one, attack minus two with range three, pull and immobilize. My goodness. That's quite something. Uh, we right, do need to worry can... about the golem because he's way at the back. Yeah. Um, forget about it. We'll have to deal with more of so that later. I'm going to play the favorite, which is pretty neat, right? The favorite basically is an ability that allows me to have a favorite throwing axe. So now I'm going to put a little token on my on my card, and it basically means that I may add plus three attack to any of my ranged attacks by moving the token from this card to the target after the attack ability is resolved. When that target dies, place a token on the hex which it died. If you loot that hex, return the token. So basically I've got a favorite throwing axe that I can do more damage with, but I have to go and physically get it back after I've thrown it if I want to keep using it, which I think is just... Again, being a teenage boy here, but I think it is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so your favourite thing? So cool! I am. And then I'm going to move. And I'm going to move three and activate wind. One, two, three. Going to leap into the fray. In fact, no, I'm going to go one, two, three. Okay, so that's your hoggo. That makes sense. Yes. Absolutely pathetic. Uh, the stone golem <laughs> is going uh, to move yeah. two. So he'll go the shortest path, move um, plus one. Two. And then his attack is at range three and stuff, so there's no way he's going to get anyone. Cool. Okay, right, I cool. will uh, do a move of three. So I'm going to move okay. uh, to the space that's just uh, left left top of you in that in the first bit of that purple terrain. 
And then the second part of that movement is that I can destroy one obstacle within range three. So I could just blow up that little obstacle that's just to the right of us now. Because I don't think there's anything else we want to destroy. Is that what these tokens are for? These little tokens that look like rubble? Yeah, the ones that look like a little... Yeah, yeah. That's a a destroyed obstacle. Uh, So I'll mash that. And then I will do one, two punch, which lets me do an attack two on Mr. Zealot. Plus zero, so I do two damage to Mr. Zealot. Which I'll put on here. Mm -hmm. Where's he number two? And then after that, I then get to attack one, and I add push and muddle, and I gain an XP if the attack targets the same enemy as the previous attack ability, which it does. So I can push him wherever I want him to go, but I don't know if I want to do... Hmm. Do I have to do all of those bits? You can, but you could push him away. Like, I'll see what the attack does first. It does one damage. Yeah. So he's got three health left. Um, he's on three. He's got six total. And then I can push him to... Uh, thing is, that's kind of beneficial because he's going to do a ranged attack, so he'll take disadvantage if he's next to me. Is he going to move at all, or is he just going to attack straight away? Attack plus one, range three. Okay, yeah, so he will get disadvantage. So yeah. I don't think push. So I won't push him, but I will muddle him. Um, muddle him, muddle him, him muddle him, him, muddle him. Uh, and then, and I get, and I get my one thing, and my attack did damage. So yeah, that's my go. And oh, then, it's a muddle because that just gives disadvantage, and it's going to have disadvantage anyway. You can't have double disadvantage, I don't think. And you cannot. <laughs> yeah, draw four cards and take the worst one. Now the uh, zealots will do. Stuff. I got the mo- I got the monster deck, so I can flip a card for the for the plus yeah, for sure. zealots if you want. So they're attack plus one, range three, invoke fire. Okay. Attack plus so, one, minus two. Oh, minus two and plus one. And because of the disadvantage, it's going to be minus two. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, and their base attack is two. So it does one damage because it's two minus the two from the disadvantage and it's plus one because of the card. So it's one. Yeah. One damage. One damage to you. Oh, uh, <laughs> Cephalofair in chat. In normal Gloomhaven, he would attack Tom. In this version, he will attack Matt because both of you are in range and Matt has lower initiative. Yes. Thank you, Cephalofair. How did you f- learn about this game so quickly? <laughs> that's crazy. Whoever you are, Cephalofair, how did you do that? That's <laughs> that's crazy. Hope you're doing well, Isaac. I've been mentioning the playing Frosthaven <laughs> with you and all. I have very fond memories of that. That was a good afternoon. Um, yeah, and yeah, <laughs> fair agree. play. This uh, this one page sheet about how to uh, how how monster moves and attacks is great. <laughs> It's a lot better than the manual for Gloomhaven. You, that's boss. Like rather than being like, well, actually, let's just have another. Well, actually, it could be like. Whereas this just like bump. This is a good manual. I'm excited. I wish I had friends. Right. <laughs> let's. Uh, okay. okay. The reason for the change makes sense. It's like why would it makes the enemies a bit smarter and it's yeah. it's easier. It's like why would you need them? So, but they're still going to have disadvantage because they're muddled. So we'll remove the yes. muddles. And they're still going to get minus two, which means they do one damage to me, which I will take like a boss. <laughs> How much health do you start with? Is it nine? Eight. 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 Okay. Unless, yeah, I'm supposed to be level one, right? Yeah, yeah. No, I definitely am. Because it's, yeah. I think I just, I'm just, I've got big punchy fists, my dude. So I'm just going to do You do. I, I didn't want to say that, but yeah, you absolutely do. Hulk um, hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. So what do you reckon what do you reckon the plan is? So maybe hmm. I could basically like leg it in and then throw a throwing axe in, like a really cool person. Mm, do you want to finish like up this cool. this uh this this person that you're next to? Yeah, I think I is will. Is that your plan? I think I'll just keep bashing. Just keep bashing. Really. Um Yeah, I'll do that. <sighs> Ooh, that's cool. All right, nice. Yeah, another simple change I've noticed with these characters is right from the off, they've seemed to make it much more, well, with Hatchet, as far as I can tell anyway, they've made it so that there's both less going on with um, elemental stuff and more going on with it. Like You don't have to rely on procking off other people. I've got like, I've got cards in here where there's lots of cards that create wind and lots of cards that spend wind. So you can actually have some like fun little combos without having to be like can anyone do anything with earth magic and everyone going (laughs) 
which is fine. Um, but we do have wind now, right? Because we did it. We got wind and fire. Uh, who? What, what? Which one was wind? What procked wind? I did. Cool. Yeah. And, and I'm are, proud. are they now waning rather than strong? Uh, oh. yes, probably. This is a good term for us. The uh, the zealots are going. They're both going after us. Seventy seven on the uh, zealots and eighty three on the golems. I picked twenty two, so I am going fast. You're going first. Okay, um, what are you going to do? I am going to uh, crushing weight, which is just attack <clears throat> three, and it would be add mm-hmm. plus two and gain one experience if it was a- adjacent to a wall, but they're not adjacent to a wall, which I really like the idea of just being like push him into a wall. You're like, yeah. <laughs> um so yeah that's fun matt it's dead i yes! killed it with my hands this is this is the thing that you can't do in tabletop simulator i mean you can but it's you live- rubbish it's outrageously <laughs> rubbish and, every, and you do that and then everything falls through the table and doesn't exist anymore because it's gone into a different plane um physics who knew uh, so and then my and second thing is a coin drops a oh, coin, yes. right? money yeah uh, I have got to say, right? This, if uh, if Isaac is still in the chat, the coins have one on them, but they're worth two. What's going on? Oh yeah, but that's that's what it is in Gloomhaven as well. Is that the 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 worth of coins changes but, depending on what level you are. But it says, uh, or what, what but, difficulty? But it says one on it. <sighs> it says one. It's one coin can be worth two. Something else. It's, it's like but a it says value, isn't it? It's, but a coin is worth two gold. One coin is worth two gold. But it says one. Yeah, no, Tom. Let's we'll, let's have a. We we did the numbers thing last week, but let's let's have another let's schedule another conference call okay. about about numbers. Okay, we can go through that over the weekend if you okay. want. It's not my strong suit. Uh, I so my <laughs> my second thing is uh, I double the value of my next move. Uh, so my oh, next turn is going to be smash the rock and run away. <laughs> Ghost Raven saying it's a euro, it's a euro, it's, it's <laughs> yeah. Although it's the other way around, one British pound will be worth no, to one euro will be worth two British pounds. <laughs> sadness. All right, okay. The You'll sadness go. in his eyes. This might go. go. Check it out. This yeah. is going to be going to be absolutely glorious. Gonna be right? I'm going to go. Yeah. I literally one. cannot wait for you to miss. Two, three. I'm going to stand here on the seam of reality. That's what I'm going to call this. <laughs> oh, you imagine if they did fancy. that. That would be so cool if they had a... Oh, they probably haven't done that. But imagine if there was a plot line, which was like to do with the idea that like there were holes in reality. And it turns out it's like it's literally talking about the binder in the middle of maps. <laughs> uh, and then having a gameplay mechanic to do with that, that would be badass. Um, nobody steal that idea. <laughs> unless you're specifically, I, unless you're specifically Isaac, Isaac Childers, in which case you can have it. Um, no one else has allowed it. It's the law. <laughs> That's how it works. Then I'm going to do attack three, range two, and I'm going to spend. Oh, actually, yeah. So I'm actually going to. I just no, yeah. I'm going to spend um, the air, the wind power, the wind that I put into the world uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> to do extra stuff. So you've got extra range on it. Don't need it. But push two, why not? Get away from me. <laughs> um, so it's going to do attack two. Uh-huh. And I'm going to use the favorite, which is my axe. So I'm going to use that to throw the axe specifically at the person, which means it's yep. plus three attack. My goodness. So I've got six attack. And I'm going to use my eagle-eyed goggles to get advantage on this attack. So my if goodness. I, if I still miss, I'm going to be real, <laughs> real sad. So, zero and a minus mm-hmm. two. But it's fine because i got an advantage. So it's going to be a sweet little zero. I just did six damage to Zealot Steve. Six damage to Zealot Steve. He's only got eight HP and you've taken almost oh. all of it away in one go. That is absolutely All right, so brutal. that's good. That's good. So I'm going to put a couple of these tokens on there to just show that it's like bang, bang. Ow, oh, I'm having a bad time. Oh, hey, oh, bad um, time for me. Cool. And then what are they going to do? What are they going to do, these things? So it's now, yeah, these the turn. people. This one, the elite, is going to okay. move one, attack two. But he's going to do it in All a right. little... Um, it's going to be... 
It's like this. Like a little Triforce. Oh, okay. So it's going to attack two things at once, if it could. But got some bad news for you. Uh, I'm going to push this zealot back. Bump, bump. Which means now the zealot is now behind a rock going, oh, I wish I hadn't messed with those really cool characters. <laughs> I've really made a huge mistake in terms of, oh, what have I done? I'm so sorry. Et cetera. <laughs> it's just basically just, just ruminating on mistakes. And then um, uh, the other ones both will move... Uh, they'll also move one. The other two, the the other zealot. Sorry, the other one that's okay. over. Oh, so the we're corner. doing the, we're doing the move of them now. So this one's going to move one, but then can't do anything else. Yeah, he's and gonna then stand the one on the, the moony. It's going to move one. Stand on the moony. And then what's the the big rock lad doing? Big rock lad is moving one. I shouldn't really and gender golems. It's kind of pointless. Mo- yeah, and then they'll attack everyone around them, but can't. But there's no one there. No one there. Absolutely no one there. Wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. <laughs> Who was it? it was saying that this was a tricky mission? Absolute cause one. This is the easiest mission I've ever, <laughs> ever, ever seen in my life. This is the easiest, easy mission ever. This is we so easy. The, um, Nothing bad's going to happen. Curb your enthusiasm great. music for that one. <laughs> uh, so, quick hello to Fire Trucks on Fire, who's just recognized this and, and, and stumbled upon this channel. Hello. Lots of people just seem to have stumbled on this, going, oh, I like Shadam Sit Down, didn't they on Twitch? Yeah, we're on Twitch twice a week right now. Um, this is now the point <laughs> where I would usually uh, bring up the little thing that says what the schedule is for the next couple of weeks. But hey, look, I haven't updated it since uh, like a few weeks ago, <laughs> which means here's some stuff you can watch on uh, Catch Up, I guess. But mm. also this Thursday, don't miss it, in Mothership Part 2 of our live RPG session. I've been going absolutely bonkers in Photoshop, making some fun stuff. I've got... Uh, a little panel of some sounds so I can press buttons to change the atmospheric noises in the background. I'm genuinely worried that I might mess up uh, all of the people. I don't really want everyone to be too stressed because it's supposed to be fun. <laughs> and yeah, definitely check that out. Anyway, and now the fire has gone from waning to being completely inert. So if you're going to do anything with that fire, I think it was the cultist that did it anyway, wasn't it? But, oh yeah, I did kind of want that fire. Well, you didn't embrace the fire whilst the fire was there. Brilliant. <gasps> no way. That's good. Yes way. That's very good. This is cool. I mean, it's not a surprise, but like, this is cool. I like this character a lot. Matt, this could be a really What's good up? turn. This could be a very good turn. I think this could be a great turn. What, what are you thinking about doing roughly though? Because I'm going to go and finish off um, uh, the golden zealot in the middle. Do you want to go and handle? Yeah, I'm going to go early in the turn, I think. And I'm going to try and get rid of this first obstacle, the first uh, monument thing. And then I'm going to have mm-hmm. a little run down towards you. I'm going to oh, zoom. Yeah. But then there's I completely forgot there. about, um, I completely forgot about the objectives. I'll tell you what. <laughs> You do the objective stuff for now, and I will just have a great time. I'm going for my earliest is 39. What you got? Oh, uh, 20. Me, Zealot, you, Stone. Okay, sweet. Uh, <laughs> stone Golem is just going to just chill because it can't move anywhere. Move minus one. <laughs> so it's just going to stay and go. Um, and the, uh, just, just, the Zealots are going to move and attack. They're going to move quick, but not do much damage. So, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna. I've got an attack three on the uh, on the monument, which I destroy because it's got three health. Brilliant! Bam. Brilliant! One so, objective down. Um, objective one, smash yes. a rune. And then my second thing is move three, but I move double because of my um, wind up that I used last turn. So I move six. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm now standing um, on the money that's next to the second monument. Yeah, I mean that's pretty cool. Don't get me wrong; like you did, you did some pretty cool stuff there. I did. So I'm, I'm proud of you. Thanks. Thanks. Next up, we're going to get the. Um, I keep wanting to call them cultists. They basically are what are they call zealots. Each one of them is going to move a value of three. Okay. Oh, you're in a pickle. And. Well, mm, I mean, am I? We'll see. So, so moving three, but are they moving to melee? Is there melee at the end, yes. or is it just move? 
melee at the end. Yeah. Okay. It's move okay. three That's and then, okay. then an attack Easy. minus one. Three. So I'm going to have this person move down here, um, just on the other side of the space time continuum yep. seam. Yep, yep, and yep. then one, two, three, over one, two. So it's two for me. So they're going to move there closer to me. And I'm not worried about this. It's fine. They're going to hit me. But hey, what's, what's a little hit in between friends? So, um, so the, the regular enemy is going to hit you at a base value of um, one. Okay. Plus modifier. So that's one minus one. So it's nothing for the nice. first one. And then the elite. And the elite is going to attack you with two, a base value. Okay, two minus one. One. I can do that. Six health. Fine. Okay. <laughs> Nate Mason in the chat saying, at least you know he's bringing you your favorite hatchet. He is. That's the thing. I'm now doing that classic rethinking things, looking at the other side of the cards and being like, do I actually want to do? Yeah. Do I actually want to do that. I am going to use my fateful compass during my turn, force <gasps> one only within range three to perform a move to action with you controlling the action. And I'm going to make this uh, zealot go one, two. Hey, I got my foot stuck in a trap. Nice. So I don't know what that. Uh, what three damage. Is that going to be three damage? Cool. And how much health do they have? Um, so they've basically they've got six, uh, but the okay. elite has eight. Okay, that's fine. So that is halfway dead. Three damage to that one. And then I've got my whole turn ahead of me. Exciting. I kind of want to lose my axe. I kind of want to get my axe back is the thing. <laughs> <laughs> which is stupid it's like it, it makes sense for me to just knock the other one into a trap as well but i'm like yeah but I yeah the want, axe, i want to get my axe back i like my axe um and that's why i didn't kill the elite in the trap because it's like mm, i want oh actually hang on no i could have killed the elite in the trap in the same place but i want my axe back <laughs> yeah all right i'm gonna kill the elite in the trap just to do that so the elite's gonna get pushed back there into the trap uh-huh. The elite, he dead. Oh no! Um, and then gonna put a little coin there, and then okay, this is gonna be pretty sweet actually. This is this is this is completely worked out as I wanted it. So I'm gonna <laughs> use a destroy a card. Well, not destroy, but lose a card ability. No, so my goodness. disorienting disorienting barrage. <gasps> This is me being like, I like the idea of it just being like form, form, proper bloodborne, just sweeping around, hitting from all angles. So I'm going to go move two, one, two, and then deal all adjacent enemies suffer one damage. So put the damage on this enemy. Then move one, all adjacent enemies suffer two damage. Put another two on there. Then move one, land on this thing so I can get my axe back and a coin for my trouble. Why not? Cheeky coin. And then get a little experience as well. And then that's just my move. I'm going to do follow through, which is, <laughs> well, if you don't know what that is, then we're not going to get into it here, but it's attack two, range four. So basically just attack two. Mm-hmm. And attack two plus two, four damage. Boy, okay. That is a dead, dead, nice. dead zeller. That was pretty, pretty, very spicy round. Pretty, pretty spicy, I think. Yeah. Extra spicy. So. Well, there. Um, that's the end of my turn. Chest and... You are. My goodness. I am, yes. I am, yes. So now it's the stone golem. Who's <laughs> that's what I was saying, Matt, is like, Matt is like Mario, which I quite enjoy. <laughs> um. <laughs> Wahoo! Uh, so I think that's it for that round, right? The stone golem stays where it is because it's got one movement. <laughs> And it doesn't want to. <laughs> I can just see uh, crop up anywhere on Twitch saying, wait, there's a character that passes wind and also follows through. <laughs> which, is, uh, which, is, which, is, which is funny, but also rude. So let's just yeah. take a moment for that. <laughs> yeah, ban that person. I don't want to see them ever again. Um, apparently Elite has wound on all attacks. Okay, so... Ah, that oh, might be a story. sorry. I absolutely should have noticed that. So I am wounded. Yes, okay, you're fine. right. It's all right. We don't need to notice things when we have the chat. 
That's yes, fine. it's G. Um, Which means I should have taken another damage on this turn. I can basically bin a card, but I don't know whether it's too early on in the scenario to be binning cards left, right, and center. The question I've got is, if I heal myself, do I not... I can't remember how wound works. Is it that if I heal myself, I don't get any health back, but I remove the wound? Yes, mm. sure. I think so. That sucks. Yeah. All right, sweet. I got my turn. It's easy. And it's going to be pretty sweet as well. Imagine that. <laughs> Every turn sweet is pretty and easy. sweet. I hate your character. He's like, let's do a cool thing. And I'm there like blowing up the stuff, like actually doing the job that we're here to do. Tom, you, Tom, you, you punched an enemy to death into a wall. <laughs> Like and then and then you destroyed a rock, a giant rock for no reason. I think I think we're all having a dumb cool time. Honestly, as well, I am actually going to do an objective this time because I was like all on right. my turn. I'm like, oh, what can I do? There's no enemies for me to smash, and I'm like, Matt, you're literally next to an objective. Why don't you do your job? <laughs> <laughs> um, so sure. I'm going to do that. A few people saying, "Hey, I've just got this. It arrived. Is it cool? Seems really cool. I like it a lot." Um, there's a lot of really smart little subtle changes in here, which is kind of what I was hoping to see, especially in terms of the run for Frosthaven whenever uh, being like, hey, what's getting iterated? What's getting tightened up? And it, this looks like it's definitely in the right direction. Uh, people wondering whether they should try and get this or a cheap, barely touched version of Gloomhaven from like secondhand or a friend. And honestly, that's a really interesting question. I, th I think at this point, I would say straight off the bat, um, if you want to play this with people who who are not like as super super gamey and who are not willing to just get their head into some complex rules straight away then the onboarding for this game of having the tutorial missions and slowly introducing mechanics um and also the fact that the manual is just so much neater and sharper and cleaner and easier to read and use this feels in the same way that gloomhaven as much as i loved it felt a real rough around the edges but magical this doesn't feel rough around the edges this feels like a pretty polished thing so if that's important to you and your group, I definitely um, would maybe try and hold off and grab a copy of this whenever it's available. I think it might be sold out at the moment. But um, um, having said that, if you're playing with people who are no stranger to just diving in and ready for things to be a little bit confusing around the edges at times, um, definitely just, I think at this point, especially with availability, if you can grab a really cheap, barely used version of Gloomhaven off someone, it's a pretty cool place to start, especially if, like me, you are kind of currently living in a world with a pandemic and have a lot of time inside with people. So, uh, yeah, that's that's my answer. It's a complicated one. And another question is, <laughs> does a solo mode in this add-on require you to play two characters like Gloomhaven proper does? You know, I don't know. It's a good yes. question. Yeah, it does. It does. Cool. Easy. Tom has played more of this than I have. He he was yeah. the recce crew for this. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so he's I've been the playing it. Um, yeah. I've been playing it with my partner, who is really, really enjoying it. I was very surprised uh, how much they sort of got on board with it. And just yesterday, I added in another one of my housemates into the mix, and it was really good. Um, nice. And yeah, the it's. I think that I, I had a. I would have been really interested to know how I would have found it had I have not played that little bit of Gloomhaven on stream with you before. Because I felt like I went in, mm. I didn't really read the rule book. I was like, oh, I know how to play this. And then when we started playing, I was like, oh, yeah, like it's all fairly self-evident because I played it before. But obviously there are some little tweaks, but it does it it does a very good job of like drip feeding in mechanics. Like the first oh, yeah. scenario is yeah. like, how do you hit thing? And then the next one, they're adding in stuff. And it, it's lovely. I, I really like that feeling in like in video games, especially when they sort of do it like a really good tutorial in a game is like, oh, love it. Love to see it. And it's fitting, like Gloomhaven is the most video gamey uh, yeah. board game, I think, for my money that I love anyway, like in the fact that it's actually like riffing on the best parts and the most exciting parts of the design rather than just going yeah. for the aesthetics and the theme and the style of things. I mean, like um, there's enough chunky trad fantasy stuff out there. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I think this is like, if yeah, if you are playing with people who don't play stuff as much, this is a much better onboarding process. Um, on boarding yep. process talk about like we work in hr or something this is crazy, but, uh, <laughs> getting people into it like because i mean the only way to really get people into gloomhaven is to say hey look here's about an hour's worth of videos go and watch those and then we'll know how to play which is not the easiest introduction for some people but some people like myself like uh my london gaming group back when we were still able to meet up on a kind of weekly bi-weekly basis you would just frequently say hey we're going to play this and everyone would just be like cool and everyone would just sit and watch a 45 minute video because yeah that's the sort of people they were. They were like, give me the rules. Give me the rules. <laughs> um, yeah. 
There we go. Cool. Right. Back into the game. So have you chosen some cards? Yep. Got mine. Ready to go. Okay. So. So I'm going to just try and do some damage to this monument thing, objective, and then move a little bit faster. I'm praying for a good card in my bonus deck. What what number are you on? Uh, I am 19. I'm 25. Never been kissed. <laughs> and then right. the enemies... I need to shuffle the stone golem deck. Da, 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 da. Stone golem is going on 72. Zealot is going on 19. So same as me. So I think I go... There aren't any zealots. Mate, there aren't any zealots. Kill zealots them all. Zealots are blimmin', blimmin gone. Flipping Dead. gone. What would happen, gone. though? Although they might appear. If they appear, then we draw for them. Because they might. But why would any why would any zealots appear, Tom? <laughs> Yeah, I actually Stop have being oh, so oh, negative. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, I will do explode. Uh, nope, I'm not doing that. I'm doing piston punch, uh, attack two. So I'm hoping for nice plus, plus one. one. Okay, so oh, we destroyed nice. that one. This is the opposite of when we play Gloomhaven, <laughs> isn't it? It's like where everything just <laughs> went disaster. wrong. This is like everything's going beautifully. Yeah, that's lovely. This is singing um, like an engine. Engines don't <laughs> sing. <laughs> so that's the second one destroyed. So, uh, hold on, let me get my... Um... The tremors right. have subsided. You feel like you've finally gotten a handle on things. But then, more men with robes push, row, not push, rush, from the deeper tunnels of this wretched place to aid the others. Spawn one normal that's... and one elite. <laughs> <laughs> that's great, Tom. That's great. Thank you. What talent! What talent! <laughs> aren't we lucky to aren't we lucky to have found you in that field? <laughs> Incre- incredible! Incredible! Uh, so spawn one normal and one elite zealot at B. All right, I'm going to go for two and three. We haven't really even needed the numbers yet. Great stuff. No, not really. Um, two and three. So okay. Uh, okay, and we don't do any of the extra spawning because there's just the two of us. So the zealots. So so these zealots are now in, and they're going to move after me. They move plus one with jump and then attack minus one with curse and invoke wind. Um, so I don't know whether I want... I'm, I'm moving three at the moment. Three. Mm. And I might, that might put me in range. That will put me in range of them. So I might do something else. Well, no, I mean, I, I'll probably move. I mean, I don't know what we're going to have to do after this. What's our new mission? Destroy the rest of oh, them. Just this one. Just blow them up, mate. Oh, how many are there? Oh, there's four of them. I thought there was only three. Mm, oh, time. yes, yes, yes. What's, Unlimited what's going on? What have you been doing? Uh, nothing. Oh, you've got uh, a fan. <laughs> uh, yeah. Why I, is your hair moving as if it's got a fan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a good. It's, it's quite dramatic, isn't it? I, I don't. <laughs> it's great. I, just yeah. We needed Titanic music to play. <laughs> My heart will go on. I don't know how that song no goes. Normally, but... like I, I wouldn't care about like I'd, I'd care about looking a bit silly, but yeah. like honestly, it's hot. You, you cannot comprehend quite how unbearably warm it is in this room right now. Like, yeah, okay, it's crazy. Well, I just say this is the great thing about dynamic microphones because uh, oh yeah, you just can't hear a thing. But also, really, can really you just look look off pensively into the distance and for a second? Uh, which, which direction is better, this direction uh, or this direction? Just move around a bit. Here, near far, wherever you are, you're on a boat, and I'm gonna draw you naked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. That made me happy. Right, let's carry on with uh, whatever this is a board game. <laughs> <laughs> um so i was thinking about where i'm gonna move i'll move to the other side of where i am now over that bit of terrain so like jump just leap over it with with my three move okay and that's my go and so, i will do um a short i'm gonna do a short rest as well both of those zealots want to move three okay. and they can and they jump so over uh they, they clear terrain Okay, so this one can go... We'll move the elite first. Yeah. So the yellow one, what does that count as? That counts as an obstacle, not a terrain. But can you jump over obstacles? No. <laughs> that was very loud. I know. 
Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry, Twitch chat. <laughs> okay, you can't move through them, but you can jump over them. I really like this new feature they've added for Jaws of the Lion, where if you're not sure about a rule, you just wait until the creator of the game just pops up and goes, yes. It's fantastic. It's really great. Um, so much easier than Googling it. All right. So it's like we're going to go one, two, three. Thank you very much, Isaac. Appreciate mm. it. It's, it's just allowing us to be incredibly lazy, which is not great. Um, <laughs> we'll never have to learn the rules to another game again. <laughs> actually, no, we'll do this in order. So it's the earliest one first. So it'll go one, two, three. And mm-hmm. then this one will go one, two, three and stand on the rubble. So they're coming. And then have they got an attack at the end of that? Uh, they do. No, it's melee. So they're just like. Okay, no problem. So I'm going to go move one, loot one, which means this treasure chest, <laughs> this beautiful treasure chest, I believe, is mine. And that treasure chest is treasure chest number 16. So you have what, to look. See what? Well, that's, I don't, that's... I don't we look. Oh. Because you're going to probably play this mission with your. I don't crew. care. It's fine. No, because it might be a fun surprise. So I'm not going to. Okay. I'm not going to okay. tell anyone. I'm not going to tell anyone. I'm not even going to look myself. What I'm going to say is, I got the treasure. It's mine. What is it? No one is ever going to know. <laughs> so deal with that. You got the joy of treasure. Exactly. The important thing is, is that it's mine. Ownership is <laughs> nine tenths of the fun. Okay, uh, I'm going to play attack three. And I'm getting a sweet little experience for my trouble. And I'm going to attack three, the rock. Three, minus one. Dang it. So actually, <sighs> ah. um, only two damage to the rock. So almost killed a rock. Um, quite. Just to try it, I didn't quite kill a rock. That's fine. So two damage on the rock. Dang it. Dang, dang, dang. Two damage on the rock. That's my go. Oh, uh, they can only... Wait, did you did you range attack it? Oh, no, you moved towards it. Okay, so no, it was they melee. can only be done with, uh, with, with, with the melee. Yeah, I remember that. Um, Don't worry. Pro, pro gamer. <laughs> so, uh, and then stone... Mr. Golem is going to do nothing because he can't. He's he's bloody useless. The Golem. He just he's just going to stand there and yeah, be like. Yeah, but if we get close mm-hmm. to it, then yeah, it's he's going to whack trouble. us. Yeah. Um. Okay. Cool. Uh, so I'm going to short rest. Okay. Oh, I should have taken that damage as well because I'm still wounded. I'm still wounded. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Oh no! I lost the one thing I wanted to do. That's really annoying. That's really annoying. That's the problem with short rests. Yeah, it's really good as well. It's the, it's my big explosion that does three damage in a in a big thing, and it does tons of damage. It's it's the it's the big one. It's literally it's like my calling card. Um, it's the big that. one, the big dipper. It's literally called okay. the big one. It's great. Oh <laughs> wow! I'm like holding these like up to the the camera, like an Animal Crossing character. Like, <laughs> what? <Whipple! laughs> like, I got a big one. <laughs> <laughs> this is a family show. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Oh no! Actually, yep. You can lose one HP and not lose that card. Uh, right. I've got ni- okay. I've got nineteen. I got eighteen. Okay, 18. and then Zealot, 50. It's good news, good news. Stone Golem, 64. It's going to be, yeah. Slow uh, late, 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 late. This so is going to be 18, pretty good. So I'm 18, you're 19, right? Yes. Great. Okay, so I'm going to keep this really simple, and I'm just going to use um, uh, the boring top half of a card where I'm not going to spend it to do a big, big attack. I'm just going to do normal attack two. Draw a card, minus one, but that's fine because I needed three damage. So I've done the third and final part of damage to the objective, which is just currently sitting behind you. Oh, that's way too much movement. Uh, yeah, so that is now a X objective. <gasps> Boom. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to take the advantage of the fact that that is a cleared space to do a tactical maneuver I like to call running away. Nah. I'm going to go one, <laughs> two... And I'm going to stand over here and take this coin. And then I am also going to have a short rest. So you can okay. do the things you're going to do. So I'm going to do Whoppo! the big one. Wait, no, fact, I'm, I'm not. Take a long rest. No, I'm not. So, Wait, 
I am. I am. <laughs> I like that noise you're making. What is that noise? It's from uh, Animal Crossing. It's when uh, when oh, okay. you uh, when you like craft something or like pick up a cool item or something. He goes like <laughs> the character is adorable. The character like shows the item to the camera, like it, they're like they're really proud of what they found, and 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 then the noise goes. <laughs> it's wonderful See, honestly I've, it's I've played it magical. and I've heard that noise but I don't remember it I, I think, specifically I think, when you catch fish is, is, is where like it's really like noticeable I think you, you wore it better it. that's all I'm going to say I think, yeah. I think you wore it better because I've played Animal Crossing it's got nice noises but I'm really quite attached to this noise um, <laughs> so I say Atomicrin asking are we bringing back the bandana boys the thing is we put the bandanas in the box with the game, I think, and sent them to uh, to Shucks. <laughs> so, if you come to Shucks next year in 2021 <laughs> and find one of the games in the library, you'll be able to find the bandanas, which are now in a box somewhere in Canada. Um, also, I think right now, because we're getting into the habit now of just playing streams, streaming more often, we're a lot more fast and loose. We're not learning the games properly. We're having to be helped along by the chat. And I think we'd just be suffocated by bandanas. So, and I know it's unprofessional, but I think the important thing at the moment now is it doesn't matter. It's just about having a nice time. <laughs> and on that note, yeah. Tom, what are you doing? Hurry up. <laughs> so I do, uh, I'm going to do that big one, which means that fire and uh, leaf are now strong. They get invoked and I Sweet. get an experience. Not that it matters. I'm going to have to play this one again bit later on um and range to attack so it's three damage to everything around including uh that uh obstacle the objective the... oh because you're going to be attacking oh, wait, hold melee on. range no You've melee moved... melee mate oh wait hold on no but yeah it needs to be hmm yeah i guess that doesn't count if it's area if it's area of effect damage no it won't it'll be That's... melee that's fine. Well, hold on. Also, I'm, maybe I, you didn't I'm... know exactly where the enemies are, so sorry about <laughs> yeah, that. I just realized that it's been updated in a way that... Okay, so I started there. So I'm, I'm literally going to move one forward, so I'm on the space with the three yellow... Uh, the, 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 the the zealot thing. And then that means that I can shoot a uh, my big one at, the, uh, at all three of them together. So... Thomas... <laughs> it does <Thomas> damage <laughs> the first the zealot number two on the left will take three damage okay clean three for zealot clean, number two clean three uh zealot, zealot number three zealot number three <laughs> four damage that's a one spicy zealot ball and you and know then... you, you know and you love him you know uh, him, you love him. Stone Golem, also four damage. Boof. And the crowd goes boof. Absolutely bonkers. I realise that I'm also meant to be tracking that, so let me just quickly... It was three, four, no, 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 four. I'm doing, I'm, doing, I'm doing health. I'm doing health. It's fine. Okay. I'm doing health, health in the way that we ended up doing it in my messy Gloomhaven campaign before we had the app, was just to, just to like put them yeah. on the board which is kind I of insane make, but like i'll make sure that i track it as well oh but stone golem has shield one so that's sorry that's only three damage removing one booth sir he's got 10 health my goodness zealot is gonna move so both those zealots are gonna move two mm -hmm. okay uh and then they will uh attack for two and three respectively Oh yeah, and I also okay. moved, Matt. I'm on the I'm I'm on the space that that yellow zealot's meant to be on. Oh okay, because I, so I had to move one. Have you? Yeah, I moved one to then shoot the uh, to shoot the big rocket. Okay, cool. So then I presume that means that that zealot number two is going to go after you instead, right? Or yeah, I'm going to say one two. I mean, they would still move towards you, but I'm just going to say it goes around this way because that makes the most sense in terms of like what would what would zealot do? What would zealot do? <laughs> What would Zealot do? That's some good merch <laughs> ideas for, uh, for Isaac. That Zealot should attack me first, right? Yes. Um, for three damage at base and wound. So I right. get wound, don't I? Okay, oh, three minus one. So it's two and a wound. Two and a wound. Oof. I'm on five health. Two and a wound. I've been zapped. Okay. I've been zapped. 
Uh, and then Mr. Stone Golem is going to move one <laughs> uh, and attack, but it can't attack in melee range. This Stone Golem is, is having to really... Mm. It's, a, it's a result of the, the maps not being completely flushed down the seam. Yeah. Uh, characters <laughs> kind of slide a little bit, and it just means that this is... <laughs> Quite cosy. Stone Golem is really not respecting the personal space of the Zealot there. <laughs> um, so, okay. Okay. Cool. It's a Great. new round. It's a new day. Okay, it's a new round, and I'm feeling gloom. Feeling gloom. All right, um, I'm going to just throw this one out here now. Mm. What should I do? So, we've just got to the thing is, through these I guys. Think is, we, we've got to destroy this, right? Yeah. I'm quite far away. I'm back up here now, uh, living living my best life up in hiding yeah. behind a wall. Well, not a wall, just hiding behind a bit of rubble, which is not terribly <laughs> uh, in keeping with my character, I don't think. Uh, do I take a long rest or a short rest? I mean, I should probably just take a short rest to get a bit of the action, but I have got this wound, which is... I've only got three health, so I might just take a long rest just for the purposes of getting this wound. Um, um, hmm, yeah. Are you going to be okay, though? Or are you going to be having a bad time? Uh, <laughs> um... Hmm. Now could be a good time for me to to skedaddle towards you. I'm wondering if there's something. Well, maybe we just do that then. Maybe we just like we regroup over here and then. But then we do need to destroy. Oh, you this know what? Thing. No, I think I've got a pretty good. I've got a good idea. Yeah. Oh no! It could be quite bad. It could be a bad idea. <laughs> because oh, that's always no, the way with ideas, isn't it? That is. <laughs> yeah, my plan was going to be. Um, to like smash that little obstacle in between, like the green obstacle that Zealot number two and three are both next to, just and it would give me some XP and it would make me strong. But right, um, the problem would be is that then Zealot number two would be able to just zoom in and uh, give us a big give it give me a bash. So mm. Zealot number Zealot number three is on four health, so I need to do four damage to him, which is quite a lot. I worry about the you being left alone with this. Stone Golem. Well, I think it's fine. I can move away, and I might just move towards uh, dude number two and try and take care of him, and that might be my turn. I think that's quite good. The thing is, I could just take a short rest and then... No, take yeah. a long rest. No, take, treat, no, treat yourself. Treat yourself. Are you sure? We've got, we've got a bit of a like a long fight. You know, like like it's good to... While you're over yeah, there, because I have got one card that can heal, but I, I just I've, I've been wounded for like three turns. Go for now, it. Go, like, for it. Mm, Go for it. I should probably get rid of yeah. this. That's okay, a good cool. idea. So I'm long resting. So my okay. initiative is 99 with a flake, <laughs> uh, and I will uh, do. I'll probably do. I'm going to do a move, and I'll probably do some damage. But let me just have a quick look at what I can do. He only needs three damage to to, to die. Um, let's take. Are you going here to die? Did you come here to die? No, I came here yesterday. <laughs> what was that for? That is terrible. It is. It's a terrible joke, yeah. It's awful. I know, yeah, yeah. Cancelled. Okay, I'm going to crush this guy against the wall again, I think. Wow. As is, as is my want. <laughs> Oh no! I've just done the same. All oh, right, whatever. I'm gonna move, <laughs> move to to the the next to uh, Mister Two, uh, number two on the on the space where that trap was. Um, yeah. And then I can Please. destroy an adjacent obstacle. So then that green thing next to me has been destroyed. Mm -hmm. uh, and I gain an experience, which is nice, nice. and strengthen, which is cool. It's a pretty good round. Ooh. Oh no, I forgot I was wounded Ooh. as well. This is a bad, this Ooh. is going to be an absolute disaster. Um, uh. And then I will attack number two for three damage. Let's see what happens. Plus one, very dead. Nice. Number two, gone. Uh, he is dead as a doornail. Well, that's good. At least you're going to get hit by less, fewer things. Is there a particular <laughs> reason why you destroyed the obstacle that is like allows the person here to come and get you? Uh, I, I had to destroy it if I wanted the strengthen. I like it. Like smashing up a, a rock and then getting stronger. is It's the Morrowind school of, of learning. Um, and I'm down yeah. for it. So, did that. Good job. Okay. 
that's my go. Great job. And then, Great job. oh, I forgot to draw. I even forgot to draw new cards for the Zealots. I hope I was meant to go. Yeah, I was meant to go first. That's fine. Cool. Okay. And then the so, Zealots, what are they doing? Well, Zealot. The Zealots are going first. Uh, oh, no, sorry. No, the Golem is going first. What? Wow. He's got go, go, 51. Go, go, Golem. Go, go, Golem. Move two and then attack okay. minus one. So. Oh, oh. No attacks. Him. No attacks. So slow. So slow. Poor little golem. Is that right? Because he's he'd have to go through difficult terrain to go there, right? No, they're going through the other enemy. That's fine. They can. The enemies can move through each ah, other. Like we cool. Can. Cool. 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 Okay. What? And uh, then is uh, zealots are moving one, mm-hmm. and then attacking with minus one. Okay. So attack minus one with minus one. So it's minus two total. Mm-hmm. So that's no damage to you? How much attack that value do they normally have? Um, they normally... Oh, this one's an elite, so he normally has three. Okay, well, uh, take one damage. Cool. I am Wound really struggling like here. I'm on three health. Oh. So, yeah, I okay. guess... I guess let's just hope that I can come back and save you. Please. So I'm gonna, well, I've, I've got, got a health got potion, long, actually. I've got my long rest. And my long rest, I think, gives me five health, unless they've changed it. It, they have, it I believe. I think it's, it's honestly, I think it's two. Oh god, it is two, isn't it? I'm completely misremembering yeah. that. Wishful thinking. <laughs> We're gonna get rid of that. We get rid of double throw, which is pretty cool. But I'd rather just have some attacks that can do mm. normal attacks. That one, that one, sure. I was gonna save it, but this is double the value of your next attack this round, which is pretty great. That's quite good. I think it's a, it's a whole action as well, so it's like. Mm, and if we had to kill a boss or something, I'd be like, I'm holding on to that. But as it is, we're just going for pillars. All right, so we want to go fast here, don't we? So we can basically try and not let you get yourself into a super pickle, right? Yeah. Uh, I've gone reasonably fast, but I don't know if it'd be fast enough. Um, all I need to do is chug okay. this health potion. I hope that nothing is going to deal me three damage before I can heal. Okay, well, I'm going to go early as I can, and we'll see what happens. But I feel pretty confident about this. I think you're okay. I think I'm going to save your ass. Thanks, man. Right. Okay. 18. Ready? Huh? 18. Cool. I'm That's on 28. Number. I'm on 28. Okay. And then we've got... They both go after us, which is the good news. Zealots are going to do an attack plus one at range three, and they're going to make fire okay. strong. And the stone golem is going to move minus one, attack plus one. So okay. he's going to move well, nowhere, no which is quite good, because he can yeah. only move one. Great. Yeah. Okay. So, go, go, go. What did you get again? Is it me first? Yeah, it is you first. Yes. So I'm excited. It's a it's a fun moment for me. It's a good time um, because I've got my eagle eyed goggles are back because I had a long rest. <laughs> well, I done. feel refreshed. <sighs> oh. You know what I really like is when you have a nap on a holiday and then you wake up and you just feel like really nicely refreshed. And I haven't had a holiday in such a long time. Not a good time for holidays right now. Not a good time. No, not a good travel. Time. Limited. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm going to do attack three, range three. One, two, three. Cool. I'm going to attack the elite with my cool little uh, throwing axe, and I'm going to use my favorite. Which means <gasps> plus three. My goodness. So it's attack six, and I'm going to use my eagle-eyed goggles, so I get to draw two cards. Plus one. Plus one. Easy. So that is seven damage to the Ooh. cultist, who I am almost entirely sure, is now dead as heck. Is, is likely um, dead. Lightly, lightly seasoned dead. Um, <laughs> and then, cool. this is fun, job. I now move yeah. three, but I get to add move two and gain one experience if I killed an enemy this round, which I did. So I literally just go, boom, 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 throw an axe, kill a yeah. cultist dead <laughs> immediately. <laughs> And then I just charge in, probably to go and get my axe again. Um, nice. However, maybe I don't want to go and get my axe. Maybe that is not a good idea. Like, hmm. um, this is quite. A, this has worked out very nicely. Yeah, right. That's why I was like, yeah. I'm going to save you, and I have. Because now the golem is like, Ooh, and the person who's going to attack you is lightly dead. Right. One, two, three. Hmm. What's the golem going to do? Uh, just stand in place and whack. 
I think I'm not going to stand next to them now. <laughs> Quite wise. Okay, so I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Let's divide and conquer. I loot. And that's it. <laughs> well, you're not taking my so axe, I get so... all the money around. Oop. So you get two coins for that. Two coin. And then uh, that's, that is literally my whole go, because I was going to punch the cultist that was next to me. But what I will also do is spend my healing potion. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm going to zoom over, I'm going to run over to the thing and then stand near it and, and pretend to do damage. Okay, classic. Right, okay. I'm going to go for 35. 28 for me. 28. So, 72 on the Goulem. Uh, attack plus, oh, wow. Attack plus one at range three. Um, Ooh, it's, throwing, it's throwing a rock in it. It's sacrificial hurl, but if this attack is performed, ah. the stone golem suffers two damage. Okay, yeah, that good. makes sense. It's literally okay. throwing a piece of itself at us. That's <laughs> yeah. cool. That's cool as I'm going to tap my weathered boots. Sorry, I'm not going to tap them because that's copyrighted. Uh, I'm going to tap... I've, I'm going <laughs> to use my weathered boots to add plus one movement to my move and Gorgeous. move five one, in two, the three, uh, at the bottom of the like next to the uh, objective, and then I'm gonna punch the the rock. Actually, wait, I'm not. I'm just gonna stand near it and think about punching it. But next time I punch it, I'll do a lot of damage. Did you miss the attack or something? What happened? Or uh, no, I, I, I'm using an ability called Wind Up. Okay. So my next two attacks do two extra damage. Okay, cool. <laughs> cool <laughs> sounds good well I am going to move one loot one to stand here get myself a sweet little <laughs> coin and a sweet little axe I'm just doing it to get my axe back it's my favourite axe wow. don't make fun of me this is my favourite axe and then I'm going to do an attack Very attack cool. three range two so I'm going to throw the favourite axe at it which means I've got an attack of six and I'm probably going to miss this now because I've been too lucky. Attack six, minus one. So five, it has armor, which wow. means four damage. Which four damage. Four. Yeah, okay. Which means basically it now has... How much health does this thing have in total? Uh, it's got 10 health in total. So it's, okay. it's like three left. Three left. That's annoying because uh, mm. it just is. You know why that's annoying. Because it's almost going to kill itself with this attack, but it's not quite going to do it. Yeah, not quite. Very close. All right. Okay, so that will attack with plus one, and I'll give it two damage. So it's now on nine damage. What's it do to you, Matt? What? Nine damage? No, no. <laughs> no. As in, we've done nine damage to it total. To what? The enemy to, to, to the stone golem. Yeah, we've done. Oh, nine sorry. Time, right? Yeah, no. My my. Sorry, my brain just sort of literally like crashed there. That was a proper like Windows ninety five. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, the stone golem does a. It's, this is going to do a base of four damage plus modifier. I know, but I thought you. I thought you meant that it was going to do nine damage to me. And I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't take that. I can't do that. You're like what? <laughs> Help! <laughs> All right. Uh, so it's four as a base, is it? And then yeah. for zero. So it's basically it just does four damage to me. Um, which puts me on got a smart. one health. Um, Ooh. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Owie, I'm owie. Good. I'm all good. I'm all, 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 all good. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can lose a card, obviously. Yeah, it's fine. I'm not going to lose a card. I'm all good. I'm not going to lose a card. Madness. Yep. Okay. Righty-ho, then. Uh, New turn, new day. Uh, I'm short resting. Okay. Actually, maybe I should long rest. How much health have you got? Six. Mm, I mean, there's not that much of a difference. I'd probably just do a short rest. Okay, okay. But Fine. You. you can do what you Fine want. Fine, board game, dad. I don't want right. a backseat. I don't want a backseat. So I'm going to try and punch this rock. A lot. Okay. <laughs> Try and punch this rock. Glad to see that you're uh... <laughs> <laughs> living my best life. Okay, right. I've got 25. What you got? I am going on 42. Golem, 51. So I'm going to follow through. 
Uh, <laughs> good. Which good, means good, I'm going to attack to range four, and I can add plus two attack if the target has my favorite token, as in my axe. So yes, I'm doing that, which means attack four, minus one, three damage, two damage. That golem, go and buy. He gone. And then, nice. For my for my second trick, I will quite simply move forward two spaces to get back my axe and, <laughs> and the little coin that just happens to be there. I think Hatchet might be a new favourite of mine in the Gloomhaven because it means you can specifically kill enemies and they'll be like, I have to go I have to go and get the axe. Yeah. Oh, I accidentally got all this treasure as well while I was here. Like, there's, a, there's a lovely mechanic Whoops. there of being like... Because it is like, I keep wondering, like, oh, maybe I could just leave the axe behind, but it's real good and it's real satisfying, this idea of having... A favorite axe. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, it's good. I'm moving uh, to the space in front of you. I'm moving four, one, two, three, four to stand on that coin with okay. the coin on it. With the coin on it? Yeah. Why are you standing on uh, that one? Why don't you just stand on the <laughs> like... Okay. <laughs> and um, have you uh, destroyed this thing yet? Are you going to do that now? Yeah. And then as my, as my next trick, I'm going to do mm -hmm. an attack two on the rock but Oof. i also uh, i do an extra two damage this is an attack four on the rock plus two that's attack six on the rock that is overkill if, you, if you if missed i'd this. ever seen it if you missed this no i got yeah. extra two it's gone it's been evaporated hmm. great stuff uh yes you'd love exactly. to see it you'd love to see it oh that means um, we get new stuff can i have a can i have a tom tom voice oh you want the yeah okay let me just turn down my gain a little bit so it's not quite as bad i like it you do good voices. And that's somebody like, who does oh, voices. There's no... <laughs> the last thing was like, the tremors have subsided. This one is... This, this one's like... That was a bit Radio is, Mercy side DJ. <laughs> the tremors have subsided, um, and today we've got some great hits from the 80s, 90s, <laughs> and the 70s. You're listening to Flump incredible. FM. <laughs> Um, Man, you've made me feel deeply inadequate because I cannot top that pitch perfect like uh, UK you will, radio DJ. You will be able one to day, in one time. Day. Exactly. But yeah, this this one's not as um this one's not as good. This one's not as as thing. It goes, you ready? Mm -hmm. Spawn one normal stone golem <laughs> and two <laughs> right. normal zealots at A. Okay. okay, so there isn't actually any plot there, it's just some instructions. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> Spawn one normal stone golem and two <laughs> normal zealots at A. Ooh. Additionally, they do other things with things <laughs> at C. Morrigan putting uh, it's Inox and Mine Thief in the morning. <laughs> It's a good like radio. In Ox and Mine Thief in the morning. Yeah. Oh, you should chat with your favourite personality. I am a Mine Thief, and today's show, I'll be stealing your thoughts, and we'll have a competition. <laughs> so I'm going to put the, the stone column in the middle, and I'm going to put the zealots either side of it. Yeah. Like his buddies. Do they now take a turn? Uh, yeah, they do. They do. Okay. So the zealots go first with boil blood. Which is not um, ideal because I'm not very alive. So uh, oh. so this these zealots are going to attack... Each of them are going to attack both of us with a oh, boil blood. Oh, that's not what I want to hear. Yeah. Not what I want to hear. Could you say something different? Okay, so the zealots are going to do uh, a thing called go into a corner and die quietly. Fantastic. Um, you love to see it. <laughs> pretty good. Pretty good, actually. All right, what are they actually going to do? What um, are they going to do? How much damage? So they're attacking with one. Mm -hmm. Both of us, basically. Oh, hold on. Range two. Yeah, they're both in range of both of us. No, one of them uh, isn't. One of them is in range of you, but not me. Sure. Okay, cool. So right. we'll start with the one that's so attacking we... me. Because uh, yeah. I'm scared. Zealot, zealot number... Uh, zealot, zealot number, number one. one, come on zealot down. Number one. So it's one damage. Zealot number one, everybody. One damage plus one. So that one was for you, right? That one was for you rather than for me. That one was for me. <laughs> that one was for me. Yeah, that one was for me. Okay, cool. So, so you take two, that? Is two that damage. damage. 
Two damage. Okay. And then the next one now, this one's... This one, me. this one's for you. This one's It's still you. one damage, which I can't okay. take. So actually, okay. it so would have probably been wise to... Oh, I'm no, cards. Dead. I'm cards. just going to lose a card. I'm just going to lose a card. Um, That's good. That's good. And I only have one card in hand. So <laughs> I'm just going to lose that one. Good, 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 good. And then the next one's going to attack you, which is going to do one damage, plus two, three damage. <sighs> Crikey. Crikey. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can rid- see people saying, I can see Ruriko saying, remember when Matt could have not taken four damage? It's like, I never <laughs> do that. I'm not good at Gloomhaven. I always wait till I'm on death's door. I never just go, no, 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 I'm not taking, I'll just take it and then I'll regret it later. So I can get rid of a, a card from my hand, right? Um, yes, you can. You can lose a card. Instead of taking damage. Yes, you can. And then, Mr. Golem is going to move plus one. Uh, so that means a move of two, and then attack. But he can't really do it. I wonder if he can move through his friends. Yes, he can. And he's going to attack the person who has the lowest initiative. Who oh, dear. Is, is me. <laughs> all right. One, It's all looking two. a bit tricky for Matthew. Oh dear, 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 dear. It's an attack with minus one, so he it's two base damage. I've only got one health, so two. It's still two damage, which means I have to lose. Isn't it that you have to lose two cards from your like not draw hand if you don't have them in hand because they're all in discard? So I think two from discard, yeah. Two from discard. All right. Well, I am. I'm taking a short rest. Oh no, that means I need to get. No, 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 I haven't accounted for the fact that I have to get rid of another card now. All right, I've only got two turns left. <laughs> <laughs> this is quite bad. It's quite bad. Uh... <laughs> so I'm going to try and push the golem out of the way. Push the golem. I've got two turns left, and I've just done a short rest and lost the card that healed me. So I'm not. I'm not healing myself. Um, no! Oh no! Because oh, I could I spend the health to to not do that, but I can't because I only have one. Yeah. So I'm going to try and push uh, the golem into a trap, basically. Okay, that's good. Uh, I'm going to do damage to whatever's near me, which is probably going to be the cool. golem. So, and that the golem does cool. a shed load of damage anyway. So, um, yeah, cool. Okay, I'm going to say twenty four. Twenty four. Cool. Uh, I'm twenty. Um, cool. And got? then Zealot no is moving on 27. Oof, close. Gollum is moving on 28. Whew. Brutal. Oh. Okay. Brutal. So uh we were really, really on... close then, weren't we? <laughs> yeah. So I've got double damage. I've got extra two damage on this one. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I don't want to push the the golem. Because you're going to push the golem, aren't you? Uh, yes. I'm going to push the golem okay. into the trap. But I can choose not to push, can't I? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Cool. Okay. It's, well, only, I will push it's, the it's, to, do, it's to do with just... I'm, I'm just going to explain this to you for the purpose of you playing the game with your friends, etc. But it's to do with um, small text and big text. So if it has like a thing where... like. You have a line yeah. and then you have some small text underneath it. It means you can't do the stuff underneath it unless you do. It's like you can't have your pudding until you've had your main. Uh, so I will do, um, yeah, one, two punch on uh, Mr. Gollum. Um, I add two damage and I gain XP when I do this to my first attack. Beautiful. So that is uh, two, four. So it's three damage, three damage to Stone Gollum. That's including the shield. Brilliant. Okay. So Stone Golem has taken three. And then yep. I'm up next. And I uh, Hold going... on, though. Hold on, oh, though. Sorry. sorry. There's, yep, yep, yep. There's, oh, more. there's more. <laughs> oh, wait. There's more. There's more. Uh, and then I do a second attack on the Golem for one damage, which I then draw another card. Times two. That's, that's one damage because it's got damage. one shield. So I'm wondering... Because basically, I can apply the second part of this, which is push two and muddle. Mm. But I'd have to do both push and muddle if I wanted to push it. Oh, wait, hold on. I can 
it, oh no because every move has to move it away from me doesn't it so it's tricky right because the situation we've got here right is i've got the opportunity to um i've got two things i've got one that's move three and then push two i've just read yeah. actually a very a very simple change they've made to the game here is they've just put some dotted lines between the different sections of things so it's like this yeah. and then this which is super simple but makes it a lot more readable so i can either end standing next to somebody and push them two or i mm. can attack three range two but then actually get an extended range and push two with that attack as a ranged attack so i can run away a bit and then do a ranged attack or i could do both but there aren't that many traps so there's not much point in pushing people around so i think maybe you know you could push this character away and then i could kind of run up well one two people in chat are saying i can because it says it says push it says push two specifically mm-hmm. but I then some people are saying you can but some people are saying you can you can push zero push up to x includes zero <laughs> Yeah, I reckon, yeah, it is. But I reckon actually we push it. I reckon if you push it back here, then um, I can push hear this. this you zealot. can choose not to push it, says. I know, but I think maybe we should push it. Okay. I don't know, maybe. It will then have muddle, which is good. I think let's push it. I think let's push okay. it back. Um, sure. So it's now, is it on that that? space with the treasure chest behind you this is yeah it, uh, it's no it's oh, oh you're pushing on. you're going real far back. that's that that's Push still two. pushing that's still pushing away from you so it's fine yeah okay cool 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 um, that's fine by me and it now has muddle oh it's saying actually you can choose not to push it but you can't you have to push the full amount otherwise um which is interesting there's a new change okay 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 so that's so, that's now got and, muddle and then my well, second thing is move two. I'll do one step back into the difficult terrain that's above the broken um, thing. So I'm going to move three. I'm going to go one, two, three, and sound this rubble. And I'm going to use my axe and my axe, which means I'm going to have attack three. Um, and I'm not going to amp this up because I'm going to hope I'm lucky. Uh, it's going to be three... I'm not lucky. Three minus one. So that's two damage to Zealot number one, and then they get pushed back onto the trap, which takes... So they got four damage. No, five damage in total. Five damage. Yeah. So they have one bit of health left. Not <sighs> ideal. I should, yeah. probably, I should have probably thrown my, thrown my fun axe there, but never mind. You live and you learn by the sword. Zealot is going to do... They're going to go first, and they're going to drain life. Move two, and mm -hmm. then attack minus one at range two, and then heal X based on how much damage they do. And they're also going to make uh, night or the dark magic strong. I think they're going to go for you, aren't they? Because you're closer. So, uh, Yeah, sure. That's unfortunately, I think, how it works, unless I'm wrong. We'll find out. So I'm going to go one... <laughs> Two. They are going to do two damage. They're doing one damage at range two. Okay, fine. So it's one. So take one damage. And then one. Okay. Take another damage. Okay. I'll take and that. they're going to get so health both, back for that, are they? Yeah, they both get health back. So obviously only one of them, only number yeah. one gets the health back because... Okay, easy. And then um, Stone Golem is going to move two spaces. And then, the, and then the Stone Golem then takes two damage. Okay, interesting. So, does it do any attacks? Uh, it will move two, and then it will attack melee. So now, no, the, it the, I've oh, wait, forgotten. And, yeah, yeah. So it will. the The problem I've well, the thing I can't remember is is it that it costs two to move into or out of these spaces, the purple spaces? Into into it. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Question mark. <laughs> so that's good because it means it's going to move two towards me, but then it can't actually hit me this turn which is great because it means i get one more turn for the road um okay, and it takes two damage for that. Rest. okay great yes it what does happens take when golems walk fast so that golem now is taking six damage in total six. um hang on, one, hang on, one should be where two is two should be it's right okay fine done we'll do that okay so that gets shuffled as well my goodness. Did, 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 did. The thing is, getting things slightly wrong is part of the experience of Gloomhaven. It's fine. You don't need to Good. worry about it. It's just the way it is. 
Things will never be okay. the same. Maybe I'm, I'm being a bit silly, but it says, Muddle says, disadvantage on all attacks, remove at end of next turn. Yeah. So it is its next turn. That's the thing that I got confused about with Gloomhaven for a while. It doesn't treat the turns as being like um, a kind of binary, like this is a whole turn. It's like each character has right. a turn, which means... And that's why you can do some really clever stuff. Like if you have a character that has stealth, then you can use stealth and then it ends at the end of your next turn. It means you can play a really late card next round to be invisible for longer than you would have been. And the same is true okay. for like enemies. Enemies will be shielded or okay. whatever. Up to, yeah. Sure. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. I'm going to take right. a short rest and I'm going to lose one of my three cards. And I'm going to play a blinder with whatever I've got left. <laughs> I'm going to go early and try and try and set you up with the nourishment and encouragement that you need to... Oh, thanks. To, to get through this mess we call... Gloomhaven Jaws of Gloomhaven. <laughs> okay. Gloomhaven. <laughs> I'm going to try and uh, kill the golem and then yeah. uh, leap in and uh, pin down the first zealot, if I can, to make it so they can't move. Zealot, zealot number one. Yeah, so if you want to focus on zealot number two... I think that's probably the wisest yeah. thing. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go early-ish. I'm on 20. I'm on 24. So you're going first. 24. And then uh, Zealots are going on 19. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Stone Golem on 83. Cut off, fellas. That is brutal. That is something, eh? All right, brutal. what are they doing then? What are they doing? Zealots are going to move plus one with jump. Uh, and then they're going to attack minus one with curse. <sighs> Looks like so we're going to have some zealots coming to attack you minus one. So they've got a base of one. I have mean, they? Pickle. First one gets plus two. How? <laughs> so that's three damage. So I guess I'll get rid of a card <laughs> from my hand. Yeah. Yep. Yes. What about the next one? Next one is... It's another plus one. Guess I'm getting rid of another card from my hand. That's pretty brutal. Oh, I'm like uh, done, basically. Like, there's no way I'm going to manage. Ah, uh, well, people did say at the start of this that mission four is tricky because I think you've been having a... Yeah. Uh, uh, you've been having an easy time and I think this might be the first one which is tricky. Yeah. Which is kind <laughs> of what you it. want. Okay, so, so now... I'll do uh, some damage. Oh, where are well, they? They're in there, there. You should also be adding two curse cards to your deck. Yes. <laughs> Which is brutal. How many cards you got left? Three. That's not too bad. I've only got two. So... <laughs> adding the curse now. Do I shuffle straight away? Yeah, you do. So uh, I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna try and do an attack with three damage on. Um, you said to go for zealot number two, didn't you? I reckon to give yourself a chance of. Cool. Yeah. I mean, let's try are you, okay. Are you gonna Are you gonna stay <gasps> next to this? Boom! Times got... two. That's what we need. That's what we're talking about. That's the spirit. Kill so them in one. One kill. One shot. One that's kill. Yeah, six damage. So that's just dead in one go. Very good. Bang. And the dirt is gone. <laughs> and then my other thing is move four, but I don't know whether it's worth doing. I'm hoping to immobilize number one, so I don't know. Have you got have you got uh, I don't know. It might be So that one just dropped some money, didn't it? That one that I just killed. <laughs> yeah, it did, yeah. Yeah. Are you sure you can kill the stone golem? No, but I'm gonna give it my best shot. All right, I'm trusting you. I'm going to stand on the money that it just dropped. Of course you are. It, it wouldn't be Gloomhaven if you weren't doing that, so that's fine. Um, I am going to be <laughs> playing um, Center Mass. Uh, attack three, range three. I'm going to hit the Gulam, and I'm going to use the favorite, my favorite axe, in my last throw of the game. Can it be play of the game? We'll find out. I feel like I'm due a miss in this deck of attack cards. Yeah. It's literally the miss. Yeah, that's... Uh, no! that's that is that's how it happens. Oh. That's how it happens. So um, I'm going to die, aren't I? Quite possibly. Yeah, I just threw an axe at an enemy and it didn't do anything. So that's not ideal because that would have been 
a, a, a kill. But that's Gloomhaven, right? <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. Oh, cool. Yeah, I've got three. I had three cards, two of which were in my discard pile. Wait, no, were they in my discard pile? I don't remember. Yeah, they were. They were. Wait, mm-hmm. Were they? <laughs> yeah, they were. So then I have to lose one to do a short... Um, lose one to do a short rest. And then so I'm, I'm going to gonna finally, for my last trick, I'm going to go one, two, three, and I'm going to immobilize both of these enemies. So neither of them are going to move on the next turn, but the next turn for the golem is literally going to be like now, so it's not really going to make now. a difference. And he's going to whack you. Yeah, and I'm just going to be dead because I'm, I've got nothing. So okay. whatever the golem well, that's does... Actually, I might be able to survive because I had to well, yeah, short no, rest think, to get rid of yeah. a card. Yeah, I think you might be able to is the thing. Like it's that's why, especially yeah. Cool. All you can do with this sort of Link. thing is just try and give somebody um, a little bit of a a leg up so they can continue, beast. so they can good. continue to uh, to be good. Final. Like, oh, so, the, so the golem attack minus one to you. Good yeah, standard okay. chance. Uh, attack minus so he's one. On, he's... It's with a plus one. That's what you... Yeah. Guess what? So, three <laughs> damage. <laughs> I'm down. Oh, no. I'm down. I'm crushed. I am okay. absolutely... And that's it for the stream today, folks. That's the end of Gloomhaven. Um, I just want to say a few words to our sponsor. <laughs> I think he's going to make more bread. All right. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Nothing much. What's about? How's it going? going? How's uh, okay. Uh, it's your boy. I'm going to... Um, I mean, I, there's no way, right? I've got two cards left, and then I'm immediately going to have to short rest. Yeah, no, we can't do it. We have to. You'd have to kill two enemies with two cards. Is there any way you can do that? <sighs> no. Uh, wait. Oh no. <laughs> if there was an obstacle, if there was an obstacle, then maybe. But there's not. Well, if you hadn't so... destroyed all the obstacles earlier for pointless experience, then <laughs> maybe we could have. Uh, I could have had a chance. Tom can long rest because the golem can damage itself. Yeah, okay. he might. Yeah. Yeah, because if you long rest rather than short rest, then that might. No, but if I... It still doesn't stop the fact that I've only got... Two. Oh, wait, yeah, no, okay, so I... Hmm. You get one more go, but hmm. the other thing is, if you were going to do that, you probably wouldn't have stood right next to this immobilized zealot, because then it could still attack you next <laughs> next town, next turn. So I think you, know, you have to just see what happens, but... Yeah. I mean, okay. maybe give that a go. It's it's the only chance, so maybe give it a go. Is to do wait. So hold on. So so I originally had three cards. Yes. So instead and then of I was, taking and then I short rested, so I got rid of one. So instead of doing that, we just say you take a long rest. I take a long rest, and then I get some health. Oh no! Hang on. But, no, people are saying. People are saying. Sorry, you attack the zealot this turn, and then you take a long yeah. rest and hope that the <laughs> hope that the kind of murders itself. Somehow. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. Sure. Okay. Right, Although, fine. No, Let's he, do needs it. To, he needs to damage himself twice, so it's unlikely but possible. Hold on, no, he's on how much is he on? Six. He would be dead, Six. but my oh. axe missed. As you can see, <laughs> just behind my uh just behind my shoulder here is the miss card. The the shadow of my Yikes. existence. The Yikes. pain of my life floating around behind me, reminding me. But I'm used to it yeah, now. If, like, if, this, this if, there were, if there were obstacles, I could literally, I might be able to do it, but I can't. Okay, well, let, I mean, let's just see if we get the 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 uh, the, the zealot at least, or, or should I try and go for the golem because he was so annoying? Uh, no, because the, the, the <gasps> no wait, I might be able to do it. Okay, let's try this. So, okay, 
Yeah, because I get to do two. Oh, this is going to require some serious luck. We'll take it. Okay. We'll take. I don't think I've even got, got the right cards in the deck to do it. Um, oh, I need to. I need to shuffle <laughs> this deck. People in the chat pointing out that I've got two curses. Yes, you're very right. I like. Uh, I know Kai's, I do. There's somebody in the chat Kai's saying uh, that aha moment is the best part of Gloomhaven. It really is when you just go. <laughs> oh wait. So then my turn is. I'm going on 28. Mm-hmm. Okay. The uh, the the b- 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 zealots are going on 82. Gollum is going on 51. The the oh, I just looked at the bottom card, so I guess I know it's not minus one. But the like the potential within this deck to ruin me. <laughs> so my first <laughs> move is to real. move four. Tom, this is like a test run. This is like the oh, simulation. Yeah. It's, it's not real. Virtual reality. It's you're real. playing this with your friends later. Like you're gonna play this mission, yeah, and you're gonna yeah, be like, right. "Guys, we've got to be careful. This mission could be bad." My uh, my, <laughs> my quattro, like my my demolitionist, is like lying in bed, and he like wakes up like, yeah. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> "What just ha- what just happened? Where am I? We've pulled you out of the simulation. <laughs> it was too cool. <laughs> <laughs> it was too rad." <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm gonna move four, but I'm not gonna move four. I'm gonna move one which lets me stand next to the between the golem where you died (laughs) and then then i can do my one two punch the first one is attack two and i'll use that on the golem because i've got to do the most damage here so i'm relying on a plus two so it's two (laughs) damage base you're relying on a plus two i love it okay (laughs) okay all right oh i just saw the card Boys, <laughs> it's a times two. <laughs> oh, you lucky sausage! All right, so how much damage is that? That's four. Golem dead. Bang, and the golem is gone. Okay, wow. All right, and now part two of this <laughs> insane. Part saga. two. I need to now do. So this guy's got. He's on four damage, right? Yes, so you've got to do two damage. This is the point where you... Shall, okay, so I need to this. shuffle the deck again. <laughs> no, 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 it's at the end of the turn. So you don't shuffle it. It's at the end it. of the turn. Okay, hold on, let me take that times two out then. Yes. And then I'll... I mean, I might as well shuffle it anyway. The because... chat is going ballistic. Um... I know. <laughs> Pog. Okay, so trash this king, is... Trash king, trash king, <laughs> trash king. This is attack one, so it needs to do... It literally needs to do two damage. Uh-huh. That's possible. That's possible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's say don't shuffle. That minus one is on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shuffling. Every day I'm shuffling. Okay. Okay. For my oh, next it's... trick. The suspense is killing me. I've just looked and there's a times two on the bottom. <laughs> okay. Hang on, hang on a minute. That's not a legit one. That's 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 a that's a blessing. Oh, card. that shouldn't be in the deck. That shouldn't be in the deck. In the deck. That was, that's left over from last time. Cheater. That's left over from last time. Cheater. Cheater. Okay. So we need to do gang. You need, we need, you need to do plus one. <laughs> we need yeah, so I need I'm doing attack one and then I push, but there's no traps, right? On the board. Uh no, not not I mean over here, but you have, like you have to do a long push. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ready? Shall I not look? Don't look, don't look. No! <laughs> What's the uh, point? What's the point? <laughs> that, and that is Gloomhaven. That's Gloomhaven. Gloomhaven a bad time. Gloomhaven a bad time. They stopped us now. We were having such a good time. And now Tom is dead. Uh, dead. Oh. You know, um, I, I completely got too cocky with that. I was not worried about it. And actually, I should have been worried about it. I didn't pace myself. I was having too much fun throwing my axe around. And I should have blocked that four damage. I can remember that one. <laughs> there were some turns where you went, you went, yeah, you went like, ah. Eh. But it's interesting that, 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 you know, like that little mistake did cause an absolute cascade of nightmares. 
Well, I feel it like was, we, were uh, we were brilliant. really, really close there. Like, you know, to be yeah, fair. so close. That's the thing about Gloomhaven is even when you lose, it's very rare that you lose in a way that's like, oh, we didn't get any chance. It's always like, it does push you right to the end. And sometimes it's like, it's not a feel-good moment to have, to have lost, but that's the, that's no. the thrill of it. That's the thrill it was so close. of the so close. living on the edge. Whoa! <laughs> That noise brings me quite uh, a lot of joy. And that's Glenn Haven, glad. Glad. Uh, Jaws of the Lion. Um, Fantastic. Really enjoyed uh, that. Just the story of a very short person and a very tall person uh, living together in a city called Gloomhaven. <laughs> How are they going to get along? Uh, this You could call them an odd couple, I guess. Apparently in stock, <laughs> in stock nowhere. Um, <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, uh, but it will be in stock at some point, so don't worry about it. Like, people asking first impression, overall first impressions, it's kind of exactly what I expected in the fact that it's just like, it's Gloomhaven, yeah. it's good. Um, I think it's just Gloomhaven in a box that makes more sense. And uh, the response I had earlier <laughs> was just about, like, I mean, I love Gloomhaven's ridiculousness and the fact that it just keeps on going and going and going and going and going and going it. Um, uh, yeah, people have got it on stock on eBay for a bunch extra, but don't do that. Just hold off. You can be patient. You yeah. don't need it right now. Like, if you've never played Gloomhaven and you can find a really cheap, secondhand, unloved version of Gloomhaven, I'd maybe still do that if you've got a team of people who, or one or two people, it's great just for two, who are willing to just dive in and have a really meaty, chunky thing. This feels slicker uh, off the bat. It feels yeah. much more welcoming. It feels like you could actually get people into it slowly and have a campaign. And again, like if you don't have all of the time in the world, then holding out for this seems ideal because it's got a whole bunch of stuff. It's still going to be giving you a fun adventure for a long time. Um, just not like a long, long time. But hey, the whole world changed uh, about three months ago. And maybe now you have literally enough free time to play the home <laughs> Um So hey, I don't know. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Um, but I would say... This is it's cool. It's cool. It's great. It's cool. I, I, I was I'm hoping it would be super excited to play some more of it. Yeah, I was hoping it would just be a gentle refinement on um, Gloomhaven, and it is. There's some really smart little details here that are, you know, a lot of it's just very simple UI changes. UI, Not UI. UI. <laughs> uh, some graphic design stuff that's just a little bit neater. Some stuff on the cards that's just a little bit more clear. Um, the fact it eases you in stuff is gorgeous. The fact that these characters, uh, because it's a box that comes with four characters rather than all of these characters, there's a lot more emphasis on the elemental powers being something you can immediately start tapping into rather than something that maybe in time you're going to start using more and more. Beautiful little map as well. Good thing. Beautiful yeah. little map. I got some some little little stickers on my map. You can see. Oh, maybe a bit just... spoilery. Oh, I'm not looking. Really cool. Don't look. I don't know. It's fine. It's just stickers. I do like, like, it's not even like the whole, like, missions thing is 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 a strange one because it's like they're not even like you're not is it that even that necessary to have like the board with the little stickers on it not really but it's oh, a no, lovely it's, little bit of like yeah. it's so video gamey you know like check like checking off like little like each little box when you do a mission is so lovely. it's so satisfying it's so satisfying and that's just that you know the thing that yeah. i think this still has is it's just the fact that as I said in the original review I did of Gloomhaven, I believe. I don't remember. I did it such a long time ago. Um, it's It would be a problem if you had this big box of content you can unlock and the whole driving force was just, oh, I want to see what's in the boxes. Or, oh, and a lot of legacy style things I've played have just been like, oh, what's in the next thing? Or what's in the next thing? Um, whereas this, it's not about that. Like, it's great when you get to open a box, but the, the, the basic thing is that playing levels and this card play of tactically fighting is just continually really really fun and that hasn't changed here but it's just this character is immediately just a lot of fun to pick and play and already if i was playing this if i had like friends right now physically i could see i'd be like excitedly looking at the other cards and being like and maybe i'll play it on my own i don't know it's one player i could play it on my own yeah but um it's got that same thing of it just being like a joy to play and the fact that it's got more things that you can unlock and see and little secrets and stuff is just really, really cool. But it reminds me of video games from a different era. Video games these days are a little bit too tickly on your serotonin box. Video games from like <laughs> maybe 15 years ago were just a little shonkier, a little less refined as products, especially products in terms of psychological um, products. Yeah. Um, it's fair enough. It, this, it gives you that kind of warmth of like, oh, that's nice, but without the kind of like very specific 
flavor of careful manipulation which most modern AAA or you know expensive not necessarily AAA but like mobile phone games and stuff like that game design seems to seems to have anyway anyway uh thank you very much for watching our uh playthrough of playing the fourth mission of Gloomhaven Jaws of Lion. <laughs> Tom's been playing a bunch of it. I might play some solo. I'm sure we'll talk about it more on the podcast in the future. Thank you so much for everybody who's tuned in live with us today and enjoyed. It's been fun having you guys help us play along, particularly thank you to Isaac Childress for literally knowing the rules to the game um, and being sound. Real nerd. Real nerd. Generally. And uh, yeah. knows all the rules to the game. Why, how does this guy know the rules? This is really yeah, tedious. Oh Who even knows all the rules to Gloomhaven? <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's just silly it's just it's just over the top it's just precocious you have been lovely. watching inox and mind thief in the morning with me inox and tom i'm not mine i'm demolitionist but I'll, it's fine why do you always have to be like this tom I'm sorry. why do you why do you always have to be like this tom inox and, and mind thief cancelled Hey, Tom, oh. wasn't that a, a great time with that? Wait, am I looking the right way? No, honestly, look this well. All right, one time, one time, one more time, one more time. Yeah, no, I'm not I'm that just, way, the yeah, other way. Okay. okay. Maybe the other way? Okay. Two. No, that way, yeah. Three, two, one. Hey, Tom, wasn't uh, that what? a. Hello. Wasn't that a sweet little game of Gloomhaven, Jaws of the Lovely, Lovely Lion? I sure had fun, and I'm glad that we won the objective and the mission so successfully. Matthew? I had a very good good time too when we when we won the game. I laughed, I cried, I fist pumped the air with joy. That's it was great. such a fun time for all the family. So, what can people do if they want to have more of a fun time with all of the family now? Well, Matt, they can tune in next time for more Shut Up and Sit Down on Twitch. Maybe we could uh, play some Mothership or Every maybe Tuesday. whatever else we've and yeah, Tuesdays and every Tuesday, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and every Thursday, and wait, and every Thursday, but mm. and but wait, that's not all. There's a YouTube channel. You probably already know about that. It's lots more successful than the Twitch channel. Thanks for watching. What, what what's it called? Uh, oh, okay, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Bye.